and girls, I'm the Flying Teacup, and I've been thinking a lot about these things. Let's find out what they really are. So before we dig into what these batteries are, what's their function? When you put a battery into a Titan, two things happen. First off, the Titan regenerates some additional health and its core percentage is increased by 20%. Then it gives the Titan a protective invisible shield that can be drained by anti-Titan weapons but also smaller firearms. When a battery is pulled out of a Titan, it will lose one bar of health or the entire shield, if it has one. Pretty straightforward, right? Well, maybe on the surface. But what happens if we dig a little deeper? If we want to know what these batteries are, then we must understand what happens on the hood of the Titans. We know that they are some sort of power source that helps the Titan function properly. BT is quite clear with that in the first chapter of the campaign. Power low. Insufficient power. So we know that the batteries are a form of power source that can be used to make Titans more powerful and more functional. But what would you say if I said that these are atomic batteries powered by radioactivity? An atomic battery is a device or a battery that uses decaying isotopes which are unstable elements with uneven protons or neutrons to create energy. The energy is often converted to electricity so it can power bigger things like spacecrafts, but also small things like pacemakers. These batteries have a much, much longer lifetime than your typical AAA batteries. I mean, look at this. This is a preview of an atomic battery from Stanford University. Just the shape and construction of the battery looks just like the battery from Titanfall 2. We can also see that the batteries are used more than just to power Titans. We can see that in the MCS James of Gallen, where there are multiple batteries, some still have power and some do not. If this wall of batteries is a recharge station or a fuel station is unknown but it would explain how the entire fleet is powered. But how can an atomic battery work like it does with the Titan? Pretty easy to say. All Titans have a core. Alright, I know what you're going to say. Oh, so because it's called core, it must be a nuclear core. Well, not exactly. All cores are tied into a specific categoristic that is shared with the Titan. An example, when using Norsa's flight core, your thrusters are much stronger than when using your normal hover. And when you put a battery into a Titan, it will grant you some core charge, which might hint that the core is charging that Titan's abilities. Then, when activated, it will overclock the Titan's systems, and you can now use more power at once. But how do we know that the core of the Titans are nuclear? Well, we don't have to do anything more than to check out the Titan kits for every single Titan in the game. They all have nuclear eject. While you have nuclear eject equipped and your Titan is doomed, you have the ability to trigger a nuclear detonation before ejecting. And if that wasn't enough, when going to Doom State, each and every Titan says that the reactor core is exposed, which supports the theory even more. Warning: Potential reactor overload. Battery required. But you don't have to equip nuclear eject to trigger an atomic explosion. You can actually force another Titan to do so. In front of defense, you can buy something called nuclear rodeo. When you jump up on a hostile Titan, you can activate it, and you will pull out a red glowing battery, which you then push into the battery slot. After that, the Titan will automatically trigger its nuclear core and detonate, just like when you're using nuclear eject on your own Titan. But if the core is nuclear, aren't they radioactive? Shouldn't that kill the pilots and destroy some part of the Titans after a while? Actually, no. Atomic batteries are quite isolating and are somewhat safe, just like normal batteries. Even if the batteries are leaking radioactivity, the pilots are still safe. Their suits are so much radioactive resistant as we can see in the chapter The Beacon when Cooper fixes the power of the beacon itself by running into its power center. Even in Titanfall 1, Bish tells McAllen this in the Battle of Demeter. Except there's one problem. There isn't a Titan in the world that can protect you against that kind of radiation. But what about the Vanguard Titans? Why do they need three batteries while the other Titans only require one? Good question. Vanguard Titans are more complex and have more features that may require more power. It has the ability to change loadout and use other Titans abilities, which in itself sounds quite complex. I mean, it's an Atlas chassis that can use hover and flight core. If we look at North Star and BT, you can easily see that BT looks more heavy than North Star. Also, the Vanguards don't actually need three batteries to work. They can still work with one single battery. Yes, not as efficient as the other Titans. We can still sit inside them and use them somewhat alright, as we can see when Last Mosa saves Cooper from the Prowlers. Yeah. 
The second battery will just improve the AI functions of the Vanguard Titan. Listen closely to what BT tells you when you installed his second battery. Power at two thirds. Data core reinitialized. Ocular system online. Adjusting focus. Are you all right? My systems are rebooting, but a third battery will accelerate the process. And then when you install his third battery, he says that his power is at full capacity, which confirms even more that the Titan is functional with less than three batteries. So, is that everything? Well, not really. There's still one thing we haven't talked about yet, and that is the amp battery from Front of Defense. This battery is way more powerful than your typical battery. It has the power to take you out of doom state and gives you more health than your normal battery. And finally, the most obvious detail, it glows yellow instead of green. This battery is a later addition to the Titan battery line and it's just the next generation of batteries. It's more expensive than a normal standard green battery, but it's also a better one, providing more power to your Titan and can even bring you out of doom state. The reason I say that this is a later edition is that we know that the multiplayer takes place after the single player and the frontier defense might take place even longer after the single player and that the new battery has been created. The fact that the battery provides more health to your titan is nothing new. That is to be expected. But taking it out of doom states? That is impressive to say the least. The only explanation I have for this is that the battery is so strong and full of energy that it has the power to stabilize an unstable nuclear core reactor, which is, uh, well, probably one of the most powerful batteries ever made. So what do you guys think? Do you have a theory regarding the batteries in Titanfall 2? Comment down in the comment section and tell me. If you have a theory yourself, then comment down as well. And with that said, thanks for watching and take care.